All right, before I get started and put these two cards in, uh, these cards are, um, this is the light hash rate, uh, 38, 3060. And then this is uh, the 3080 Ti, which I have an SSD here that already has iOS loaded up on it. But the last time I had this updated was about, I want to say like two months ago. I also have to update this to the latest iOS that has MB minor on it. And then after it's updated, I have to update the drivers. So I can show how to do that. And the way I'm going to be showing that is on a phone instead of on a computer. Just because I feel like the the phone is a little bit easier to to get access to. Um, you're always logged in with iPhoneOS logging into the computer. You have to put in your two-factor verification in order to uh, get onto the web browser. With the phone, it's a little bit easier because you're once you're logged in, you're logged in for a few months and then it kicks you out. I'm going to show how to update everything through iPhoneOS through the through the iPhone app. I believe there's an Android version too, but uh, I, I would assume they're both the same. All right, so first thing is you click here, you click on your rig, then you click on this section here to update HiveOS. Once you click here, you can choose to back, backdate it or go to the latest version. And you click on force upgrade and complete reboot afterwards okay so moving on you go on to the flight sheet as this is updating you click on ETH you click on your wallet you click on uh, either mine and then afterwards you click on uh, MB minor now you can there's other configurations you can do here all those are listed there but I'm gonna just call this test MB minor for a jar. So there it is, it's all set up. All right, so next thing to do is let's update the overclocks on these cards. So in order to do this, you just click on the little um, meter on the right side and you can choose two, two ways to do this. You could do your own configurations or use other presets other people have um, put together. Now, so since because this is a MSI uh, 3080 Ti, I'm, I'm using 100% uh, fan just because my other MSI 3080 does overheat a little bit, so I want to avoid that at all costs. Next thing is you want to go into the commands and type in um, a few different ones. So there's a bunch of different ones listed here. Uh, I, I really suggest you guys take a look into it. For this, we're going to update it, um, update the drivers to the latest drivers. Except there is one driver that you cannot use according to uh, MB Minor that's not compatible. So just make sure you're updating it to the latest drivers and you should be fine at this point. Oh, it's case sensitive too, so uh, make sure you type it out correctly. All right, so next thing after that updates, uh, you want to set up the flight flight sheet to this miner. And then after that, you should be able to, to mine. Uh, you can reboot, refresh, uh, just do a few thing, different things to see if it'll actually go through. So there you go, we're getting about 75 mega hash right now. 78, 79. Uh, this is actually speeding up right here, so. I let it run for about five minutes, and what I did see was it, it fluctuated between 80 to 70, 78. All right, so I guess let's get started and look at the, the hash rates. So we have eHash, e Kapow, and Alto Lycos. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but here, here are the values I have. Um, about 80 mega hash for eHash. Uh, 44 for Kapow and 217 for Auto Lycos. Uh, I changed this to three day, the last three days, and by calculating this with these values, I have um, one thing too is uh, the wattage. This is just off the algorithm and not off the power power meter, so these values might be a little different, but. 
just keep that in mind. But based off these values for the 3080 only, 3080 Ti, sorry, we're seeing it's about $5.60 for Ergo. We've been going $5.35 and ETH $5. Ergo and Raven Coin have been fluctuating between the two. Uh, depending on what day you're looking at, it, it could be Raven Coin that's ahead or Ergo. Um, I think in the long run, I'm going to use this to mine uh, Raven Coin. And then later on, I'm going to switch it over or swap it for Ethereum or for uh, Bitcoin. Because I believe those two are going to be the ones that climb over the long run. So we'll see how, how that goes. And I mean, there's no real way to determine it. It's a gamble. And uh, this is my strategy. Uh, please do your own research and, and figure out what's best for you. Go the other way where after the merge, it just drops. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Uh, please like the video. if And... Uh, Please subscribe, all the stuff that other people usually say. Thanks for watching.